Okay, so we're going to look at this week at some angles problems. Now we're going to start by looking at exterior angles in polygons. There's two words there that are quite important. The first one is exterior, which means on the outside. And then the word polygon, uh, which means a side with straight edges. Hopefully you can name all of the ones below. I'm just going to give you some time to pause that video in case you've not already tried this and then I will show you the answers. Okay, so the answers for these should look something like this. We've got a triangle where that tri means three, quad meaning four, pent meaning five, hex for six, hept for seven, this septagon is very um, American but it, it may be acceptable, I'd go for hept just to be safe, octagon meaning eight, nonagon meaning nine and decagon meaning ten. There will also be some of you that are thinking about a dodecagon, that is a twelve sided shape. So. A polygon is a 2D shape made up of straight edges. Regular polygons have got equal sides, side lengths and they've also got equal angles. Irregular ones, they've got different side lengths and different sized angles. These ones are a lot easier to work with because we know they're the same, which means they're split equally. Um, and that's where we are going to focus lots of our attention because we can come up with really nice formulas for those ones. Irregular ones, we can use the general formulas, but they need a little bit more work because we don't know that everything is split equally. So exterior angles are where we're starting. Exterior angles are the angles between the shape's edge and then a line extended from the vertex. That sounds incredibly complicated. All it means is that if I was to go to a vertex, that's a point here, and extend a line out that goes in the same way as the shape, it's this angle in between them, so where the shape is and the straight line that you've extended out. That can happen on every single vertex. So here in our pentagon, I've got five different exterior angles. If we can imagine shrinking this shape down until it's as infinitely small as it can possibly be, this shape would shrink to essentially be a point. If we were to bring all these vertices in, it would shrink to be super, super tiny until it was essentially as small as a point. That gives us the rule that the exterior angles of those polygons is 360. It's the same as angles around a point. Okay. So, what we then need to do is step this up a bit. If we have a regular polygon, we can then actually use the fact that we know that all of those sides and angles are the same to equally split that 360. So, if we say that this polygon has n sides, what we can then do is do 360 divided by n to find the value or the size of one exterior angle. That means we could look at this pentagon and figure out the size of these exterior angles here by doing 360 divided by 5 because n is the number of sides this is the 5 sides of the shape so n equals 5 360 divided by 5 I'm going to divide it by 10 and then times it by 2 so 360, 36 uh, so 72 degrees for this one I want you guys to have a go at using that formula to help you with these questions. 
so if you haven't already give that a go now remembering that if it's regular and n sides we have 360 over n for one exterior angle give the video a pause and try those now if you haven't already No, I don't. Okay. So we'll just go through the answer to these very, very quickly. So a regular non again, we already know that that's got nine sides, so n is nine. We're going to do 360 divided by nine to find the value of this exterior angle y. 360 divided by nine gets us 40 degrees for each one of those angles. A dough deck again, we talked about briefly earlier on. This is a 12 sided shape, so n is 12. So we're going to do 360 divided by 12 to get us 30 degrees for this angle here. We've got another exterior angle here, but this time we're not given the name of the shape, so we're going to have to count up the sides. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So 360 divided by six. That's going to get me 60 degrees on the outside. Last but not least, we've not got a diagram for this one. So I've got a 24 sided polygon and I need to work out the size of the exterior angles. So I'm going to do 360 divided by 24. Now because of the way I've written this, I'm actually just going to treat this as me cancelling out some fractions. I can see there's definitely a 12 in common uh, with each of these. Um, so I'm going to go for 30 uh, over 2 and then 30 over 2 is much easier to deal with to get me 15 degrees as my exterior angle. To practice some more like this with regular shapes what you're going to want to do is have a look at Hegarty clip 200 and sorry 563 but actually there's a little bit more to add on to today's lesson. What we're going to do is learn how to work backwards. So a polygon has got exterior angle of 20. How many sides does this polygon have? Now there's a lot of possible answers for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to assume that it's regular. If we assume that it's regular, that means that 360 divided by N is going to give us 20, that exterior angle that we were given before. To rearrange this, what we're going to do is multiply by n on both sides to get us 360 degrees is equal to 20n. Then divide through by 20. And that's going to get us that n is equal to 15 times 18. a few more questions to complete if you haven't already tried these from SharePoint please pause the video now and get to grips with those and I'll pop the answers up in a second so your answers are just here we should have had 9 and 12 sides working backwards would have given us 8 to get an octagon and then looking here at that 15 degrees that's in your image, we should have worked backwards to find that it had 24 sides. Literally the only thing left to do now is to make sure you're looking at those Hegarty clips. So earlier on we said we could have a look at 563. So that's 563 and 564. You're gonna want 70% on those to prove that you remember everything and that we can move on to the next lesson. If you're having any trouble, please don't hesitate to email us, otherwise stay safe.